He's perfectly safe um, to be vaccinated today for him. Mm -hmm. Leon is due his jab today, but first his mum Brenda wants some reassurance. Okay, is there anything I need to look out for? or? With, with the, any vaccinations you look out for, he will have a sore arm tomorrow. Yeah. As Leon is 35, the AstraZeneca version is still recommended, and once it's all over, they're both happy. Just wanted to double check. It's always good to double check. And how do you feel now? Much better. And also, I don't get sick at all. I yeah. don't get sick. You don't I'm get very healthy as well. Yeah. So hopefully we have no side effects and we'll just keep an eye on him. In fact, the pharmacist at this North London vaccine centre was fielding a lot of queries about the jab safety today. Okay, let me have a look. Let me check your records. Let me see what it was for. With his advice, received positively. People are asking more questions, which is really good. I think it's very important that people do ask questions and if any queries or questions they do have, please contact your pharmacy or your GP. So, looking at the potential risk of the first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine, overall, the chance of death from a blood clot appears to be one in one million, a similar risk to having a fatal car crash on a journey 250 miles long. In comparison to blood clots for other medical reasons, each year there'll be three to ten deaths for every one million who are on the contraceptive pill and 285 deaths for every one million people who have surgery in hospital. And remember, it's not even certain yet the jab is the problem. You have to tread a, a careful line here between making mistakes and overreacting to things that may not actually really be real but at the same time, responding when there is uh, clear evidence uh, in, in a transparent and, and in a, a fast way. And I, I think we've got that about right. So under 30s who haven't had a dose yet should now be offered an alternative to AstraZeneca. And apparently there will be enough. We're confident that we've got the doses coming through that we need to deliver on the target of vaccinating all adults by the end of July. We've got 40 million Pfizer uh, on order. We've got 17 million Moderna. So far, uptake of the vaccine across the UK has been extremely high and didn't seem to slow when other European countries paused their rollouts. Everyone involved must now be hoping that that confidence in the COVID vaccine programme can be preserved. Catherine Jones, Five News.